What's up, guys? It's Ben Chez, and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. It feels like we just ended episode three, but not you worry, my impatient little babies. Episode four has just been has just been released, and the fun best part about all of that is it means we get to play more Borderlands, and that's a good thing. I'm very, very excited about this, because this means we get to spend more time with our lovable characters that we've met over the over the time. We get to hang out with Gordis, Loderbot, Reese, Vaughn, Fiona, Sasha, and I hope Athena is still gonna be a part of it, because there's a lot of most of you go to remember what happened in the finale. But we'll see. But as you know, in most Telltale games, they're going to show you a brief little preview of what happened in the last episode. So enough jibber-jabber. I see Scooter in this episode. So I'm hoping we're going to spend some time with Scooter in this one. So let's get the episode started. Episode 4 starts right now. Uh, I'm excited. I, I'm ready. I'm re I don't know. It's like I'm, it's, I, leave, I leave them for the end of an episode and then I come back and it's like, I miss my buddies. It's good to have them back. I miss them. And I just, I want to see the story unfold, because it's beautiful. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. This is Our true. unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Little Gordy. Searching for the robot's <laughs> missing components gave the former middle manager a chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion Past. <laughs> the dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, She's a stone Valerie's cold killer. killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. <laughs> that was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, oh, yeah. they were the, working uh... for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. I remember we're headed back to Hyperion in this episode. But how are we supposed to get to Hyperion? Because you can't technically... You can't technically drive there. What? Some rock... We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. That what awkward are you thinking? Mom. It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I That's what I'm trying to figure out. Endless march down memory lane. There's got to be a reason for it. It must be, be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. That's I'm true. Sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't this do anything stupid. stupid. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. We so don't have one. He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. <laughs> I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. You can't serpentine, dude. It's not going to work. 
Stay put. Two, three, go! <laughs> Are you serious right now? He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know! I think now's a good time to run. Now's a good time to run. Oh man, the sky is mad at us. The sky is mad at us. That was close. Well, now his idea doesn't seem so crazy. What's that? Uh. This again. <laughs> he had a duct tape him together. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. This is so, a good point. You just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. So, what I'm gathering, gathering from this right now is that Gordas is in fact a female. A female robot. Uh, that... That, that explains it. But now I gotta figure out how we're exactly we're going Vaughn? to get there. Vaughn! Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Huh? Sorry, they jacked Vaughn. our ride. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. It'll be Gordis. okay, Gordis. Hey, look at me. It'll be alright. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's, it's mad sketchy right now. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. You're A little bit. Guilty. That's what Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena, Athena had nothing to do with this, though. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you. So she had everything to do with this. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But what? these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a What's in it for us? What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> Things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Okay, or okay, do you think okay. We negotiate more. Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Stop. Fine, fast, you got it. You want. Please, just, just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. 
son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. Jesus. This is already like... There's like literally nothing good coming from this right now. Oh, I can't believe she stabbed Sasha in the arm. That's so I not cool. Me. It's not possible. We can't do that. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're going to figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're going to get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll we'll find our hey, guys. Guys, guys oh, I'm loving your option. Shut up. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. I'm trying, We're just guys. Come trying on. Trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's should your make tum -tum some there, buddy? That'll teach work. you to hit the taco I truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So you know, I could use your help. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on I could use your help. Yeah, so of course you could. I'm not the one Is that a yes or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Meat buddy? Honestly, don't know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So the listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. Okay, That's why I'm gonna share this go. juicy little tidbit with you. We can't do this. Now, once upon a time, Fine. a few What's of my guys just, just spit it out. borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will ya? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I seriously talk too much, Reese? You are a handsome Jack. I'm so, sorry, yeah. man. <laughs> no one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Yeah, really. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. We Guys, can actually do this. We can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. <laughs> the Listen, little robot. you get access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reese the location data now. You the best, Gordon. See what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. <laughs> you shouldn't. I wouldn't know how. <laughs> that sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people? <laughs> Handsome Jack, from the Jack is you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great, sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Well, it can't get Gee, any worse, right? That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh, it's killer. Behold, Helios. Okay, now how do we get there? Oh, well, uh, Helios uh, is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? Scooter! Call him anytime. Yay! <laughs> well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. Yeah! <laughs> and then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell a bet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. <laughs> yeah! Let's go, fellas! At ease, soldier. 
<laughs> then I'll disable the security system. God, look at all this tech. I'm so freaking sweet at it. Yeah. <laughs> you I rock. A living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. <laughs> this is like Ocean's Eleven, but way cooler. From there, we'll get into Jack's office. Well, I'll... <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Oh, and yeah. I better go as someone else. Ah! That makes sense. I mean, he is dead after. And for the grand finale, oh, Digistruct of Vasquez. Yeah, Reeskez. Jack's inside. Reese, who's I inside? Vasquez. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. Of course so it can. I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Uh... Don't tell him, princess. I'm not a They'll princess. sabotage the whole freaking mission. Uh... It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. I... People only make things way worse. You searched my memory yeah, files. It took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Yeah, yeah the technology. Reese, there's something you need to get off your chest. We're listening. Oh, but I really like you, Sasha, admit, and I don't want to lie to you. It's pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Uh, uh, yeah, it definitely seems together, like Together, nothing can stop us. You don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! Yeah! And August, that's why. <laughs> and August. <laughs> Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. For the real thing, let's hug it out. Hug it out. Um, Don't no. look at me. I'll okay. kill you. Oh, come on. G go, team! <laughs> All right. Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. Holy crap. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it here. I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. Because, oh man. We straight up have like an Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Thirteen plan going on. And it sounds freaking awesome. Like, I can't wait for us to just go on further. But... It, I'm going to call it here for this episode, guys. But in the next one, we're going to beat up with Scooter again. I'm excited about that because I love Scooter. He's one of my favorite characters. But, yeah, it looks like we got to get ourselves a spaceship. A spaceship. Because we got to go to the... Gotta, gotta go to space. That's the thing we're going to do in the next episode. But, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that this episode's finally out. I'm glad it came out sooner than later. It didn't take, like, three months to come out like the other ones, so... I hope you guys are going to enjoy this ride with me because it's going to be freaking sweet. I can't wait to play some more of it. But as always, this was Tales from the Borderlands, Episode 4, Plan Bravo. I have been Benchez. If you enjoyed the episode, flick, flick at the buttons. Tell me what you thought. And I will see you all in the next one. I love all your faces. See you next time. See you later.